Now what? Hello everybody. So welcome to the next section or the official section. Is the official section like welcome to the next section of this training? The one of the most important one. You get so this is like the beginning of your trading journey from here now from what you are going to learn f at from this point now you are going to become a profitable trader so i know by now you have already gone through the basics of of um trade view and how to navigate around it now the next thing you are going to go is, is into those candlesticks those red and those red and green candles you, are, you always see now i'm going to teach you how to analyze it and how to pick a coin you get i let me just call it let me call it candlestick mastering or i call it um let's dive into it the candlestick holy bible this is a full detailed ebook they have already prepared for you guys you guys already have it listen please only with this ebook alone I beat my chest. I'm telling you that you're going to be a very profitable trader with this ebook. Make this ebook your friend. This candlestick holy Bible. You understand? It's all about how to trade candlesticks, candlestick trading Bible. I call it candlestick trading Bible, but maybe I'll title this section of the video now Mastering Candlestick or Candlestick Mastering to make it easier for you guys. You get so make this book your friend. You might not necessarily go through all the videos I'm going to send but with this book you are going to be loaded with all the informations you need because i took out my time to prepare to arrange and make it available with loads and loads of information so i can't wait to see you guys testimony style coming in now first in the content i'm going to remove my face now so that you guys will get to focus so my face is out so first the first thing in the content you can see is introduction. Introduction is the first thing. Overview. History of candlestick. Page 8. Please try and read it. Page 8. Division of candlestick. Then candlestick patterns. Now you can see inside candlestick patterns. They are up to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7... One, let me read from bottom. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Now, inside candlestick patterns, you can see there are up to 10 hot topics on how to get or read the candlestick patterns. Then, page 14 now, it's showing you practical of all this. Though I'm going to still show you guys the practical too, but even in this ebook, I, I made pictures available. So it's going to be well understanding for you guys. So, the candlestick pattern mm -hmm. exercise, yeah? Then the market strat structures. This is also very, very important. The market structures. This is also very how to trade the trending market support and resistance level this one i'm going to actually do a detailed video for this support and resistance level for you guys to understand it so this is like a run through of everything that is inside this place then the time frame up and down analysis so this is going to actually help you even just with this book i am telling you guys now that you are going to be very very profitable in trading just with this my book now that you have access to <coughs> so guys welcome to the candlestick holy bible now we have already gone through the content please take your time and read don't miss any of these things it's very important it is very important then here is an overview of everything candlesticks anatomy candlesticks pattern the market structure this is like an overview of everything and the most important is this number six two which is the six money management it is well detailed with this book alone you might not necessarily need to go through the videos all the videos that is under candlestick and the teaching if you focus on only this book i bet you you are going to be in fact you would you you will offload you would you would you would you would come to my dm with a lot of testimonies 
I assure you that. So, the history of candlesticks, take your time and read through it because I made it very understandable. Why candlesticks are important in your trading? You can read through it. So, guys, as we go in now, here is where the training begins of the candlesticks now. So, this is a Japanese candlestick. You can actually see... <coughs> Here is my um just um uh -huh. no calls yet please so uh um here is a candlesticks reading candlesticks yeah okay so here yeah. What is candlesticks? What is candlesticks? So, here yeah, now, Japanese candlesticks are a form of using an open, high, low, and closing position for the frame. So, this is the real body. The upper shadow is the top, high, closing open low let's go to physical chart so you get to see it too so you understand so this is our trade view so as i'm teaching i'll be practicalizing its network is kind of disturbing network 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 okay yeah so let me zoom in in one of them Okay, let's use this two. So this two kind of look like it. Yes. Let's use this. So this is the lower shadow. You can see it here. You can see it here down here. Down here is the lower shadow. Oh no. So, down here is the lower shadow, then up here is the upper shadow, up here, upper shadow, let's go back to it, upper shadow, then the real body. Hope you guys are understanding it so this is actually how to let me erase all these things for you to be clean so in case i'll be using the terminologies high open close lower shadow low close open high upper so both of them are the same thing the green and the red both of them signifies um, the explanations are the same. So let's go to three so you get to understand it. So here now, here now is the upper shadow. Down here now is the lower shadow. Then this is the body. So here is the open and here is the close. I don't know if you guys are understanding it. Let me use this bigger candle too. Here is the upper shadow, lower shadow the open the close then the body because all these things now are very very important if you actually want to learn today all these things that i'm touching now are very very important so let's head back let me raise all the stems so now guys take your time and read Take your time and read. Take your time and read. Now, when you hear, when I give signal and I say long, and I give signal and say short, let me explain what it is. You can see it's long, 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 short. So short is the red one. That is why it's in dark. Then long is the green one. That is why it's in white. Remember, this ebook is is white and black. So let's enter the chat. 
I'm supposed to off this. Let's enter the chat. This green one now, it's long. This green candle you are seeing here is long. Then this red candle you are seeing here means short. If I say short the market, I mean as it's going down. Buy low. Sorry, when I say short, I mean buy high and sell low. Then when I say long, I mean buy low and it goes up, we say high. I hope you guys are understanding. Let me erase it again. Long and short, both the tiny small ones is or the big ones, both of them are said the same thing. Now we come over here. This these two candles, this tiny one too is also short. Let, let me be circling it. So this tiny one too is also short. Whether it's tiny, once it's in red, it's short, or whether it's as big as this. But once it's in red, it still means short. If I say short, maybe I'll give a signal here. I'll give an entry point and say short. Maybe I'll give thick profit around there. So once it comes down to that point, bam, you take your profit. You are in profit. But when I say long, this tiny candle still means long. And this big one still means long. So I might give the call here. We enter here and we allow it to run all the way up and we take our profit here so you guys have understand the difference between both of them so the red candle means short the green candle means long so with that so let's move on to the next now how to start candlesticks tails candlestick tails now what is a candlestick tail the lower upper shadow and the the long okay sorry the long upper shadow and the lower and the long lower shadow those are candlestick tails let's go back to the chat let me show you remember i told you guys that here is the upper shadow and here is the lower shadow so the tail is this long stuff you are seeing now this tiny long this thing that is the candlestick tails same goes with these two is a candlestick tail so this is what they call upper candlestick tail and this one down here is what they call lower candlestick tail or this one lower can once it's down is lower once it's up is upper so both of them means the tail of a candlestick these, these are the tails i hope you guys are following i hope you guys are following just make this ebook your friend. Read through all these things here, yeah, please. Read it. Read it. It's going to help you. Now, we have entered into the main analysis now. So, this is the engraving ban candle. Now, I forgot. Remember, in the terminology ebook that you guys went through, I explained what bullish means bearish i explain what bearish means and i'm going to guys don't get confused and i explain what bullish means so this is bearish this is bullish when the market is going up and this is bearish meaning what when the market is going down bearish when the market is going down let's go back to the chart go back to the chart so the movement of the market now let's use this particular one like this that the market is is a bearish market because what it's falling it's a bearish market it's falling which is you can actually short this trade you short from up here it comes down you take your profit down here so this is a bearish market then this is a bullish market this movement now is going up is bullish which means the market is going up so i'm just touching back the terminologies again bullish means up bearish means down because we're about to start reading the candles now so the first candle is the that we are going to start analyzing for you to be able to get your trades yourself so this is a bullish engulfing bar which means once you see a small 
small body with a open price here yeah? closing price without a tail it means short it means you should short the market let me show you a typical example here so this is a chart you can see the bullish this thing now so this is a chart so you see the small body so you see the small body it might not necessarily be long it might not necessarily be long or short but once you see this small body here then the next candle which is allow it to form the red candle once it forms without a tail you can see it does not have a tail it means bearish to short the market it means bearish to short the market let's go over to our chart let's see if we see something like this is remember a small body a small body with an opening price then it stops at closing price without a tail it means what short let's go to the chart meanwhile what i'm using is the four hours time frame as you can see it's down here what i'm using is the four hours time frame because i, I love four hours time i use four hours time frame to analyze a lot four hours and 15 minutes i use four hours one hour and 15 minutes but on this particular trade i'm using the four hours time frame so let's look for a trade that does not have um let's let's move this move that does not have a tail it has a small body without a tail then you see you get to see the movement of the market okay guys remember in trading view i showed you guys how to shrink this instead of us to be moving like this we can actually just shrink it so to make it easier this one i just brought it together now i just brought it together now i now shrink it also from here so it now give us a more clearer view so i'm looking for the one that open without a tail so i can use it and show you guys an example of it's a bearish market once i sit i will stop so let's move 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 without a tail without a tail it has open but without a tail this video is going to take long because i'm going to cover a lot of topics this is a perfect example now you can see it guys you can let me zoom it in let me zoom it in let me zoom it in very well mm -hmm. guys you saw what happened here now so let's say you are on this trade now you are analyzing the chart and you just saw a small body you can see it a small body which is this one down here this green one a small body that formed then the short now formed without a tail this one has a tiny tail but you can see at closing price this is a sign that you should short the market as you can see i didn't mean you saw this trading pattern so this is what you should be looking out when you want to enter a trade so the first strategy or the first candlestick that we're going to tell you how the market is going to go is bearish in growing bar bearish in growing bar so that is what it is guys you can see it has an open price up here it has an open price closing price with a small body it means what perish which is basically what we are seeing here let's go back to our chart you can see the small body this is the small body then the open price the closing price the market just fell down you saw it let's say now you you saw this trade around this place you now entered here you already in profit when the market goes down like maybe you took your profit at this point you're already in profit so let's look for 
another one that is like this or let's just move on because we have a lot of topics to cover so we won't waste so much of our time on on one so we won't waste so much of our time on one so we have already seen the bearish in growth now let's move to the next so the next one is the bullish in graphing pattern bar pattern please guys i say it again make this book your best friend so the bullish is still the same thing a small body but it has this time around this time around it has to be green remember the white one is green which is bullish then the red one the red one is red which is black which is bearish hope you guys are following me bearish and bullish bearish means it's falling bullish means it's going up and the color that represents a bearish market is red but in this ebook the color that is representing the bearish market is black i hope you guys are following then the color that represents a bearish a bullish market is green look at it the color that represents a bullish market which is an uptrend we also call it uptrend bullish market uptrend is green then the color that represents a bearish which is downtrend is red hope you guys are following now over to the the book so here because of the book, I did not color it. So the color that is representing a bearish market in this book is black. Black. Then the color that is representing a bullish market in this book is white. The way it's just empty inside. Is white. The way it's just empty inside is white. So with that said, guys, so for you to be able now to read if the market is going to go up, you should look out for a bearish engulfing candle, which means, which means a small body of red, then with a big candle of green without the tail, which is the closing, sorry, which is also the lower shadow. You guys remember in the beginning of this in lower shadow without the tail so here is the closing here is the upper shadow here is lower shadow then this place are called the tail the tail so this place are called the tail this place are called the tail so you have to look for the one that does not have a tail just like this you're not seeing any tail here the one that does not have a tail it shows long let's go okay uh-huh you can actually see it guys can actually see it guys it's long so let's look out for it in the chat so so analyzing a small body small body small body Guys, this is a perfect example. Here, you can see this small body. But let me look for another one. Let's not use that one. Let me look for another one. Do you have to let the candles form for you to have a clearer view of what the market price is going to go to? Uh, this is a perfect one. Let me circle it for you guys to see. This is a perfect one. This is a perfect one. You can see a small body. So this is a small body. You can see it's the red candle formed. The short formed. Then the green didn't have a tail does not have a tail and what happened the market went up guys you can see the market went up so you should look out for this things so a small body a small body then a an upper 
an upper shadow then in the green one for it which is the bullish market it shouldn't have a tail this one does not have a tail and it went up so you guys you guys saw how this thing played out now so these are what you should be looking out for you to be able to enter a trade so i'm going to teach other candlestick patterns but this one is a bullish a graphing bar so with this if you decide to use only this strategy i beat my chest and tell you that you are going to always be in profit if you decide to use only this so let's move to the next now this one is another sweet one the doji candle pattern the doji candle stick pattern the doji candle stick pattern guys so you can see look at it very well the doji candlestick pattern so it will have lowest price which is the shadow the highest price it went to the open price the closing price you can see how tiny it is this is the doji candlestick pattern so you guys can see what happened here it formed so you should look out for it the doji candlestick pattern is showing a downward trend a downward trend that is if it forms in red that is if it forms in sorry remember the 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 white means the white means bullish the white means bullish so if it forms in the okay no this one didn't actually form it's true it's not showing either red or like it's not showing the white or black it ended you can see white you can see red it's not sure whether it's red or by the doji candlestick it just closed at it does not even have a body exactly i've gotten the word to use it does not have a body so the body is this one that like the way it's inside there inside there inside here's the body but this one actually does not have the a body it means short so let's look through to see if we'll find something that closed that way so you can actually use it to analyze chat let me bring this together hope you guys know how to do this thing I'm doing the way I'm shrinking it and loosening it up hope you guys know how to do it because i know this was like the first thing i thought this was like the first thing i thought so if the doji candlestick forms on the top like this it means short so let's see if there's anyone that formed okay yeah there is one that formed this this one from a tiny though it's not totally tiny but you see you can actually see a little bit of it you can see it formed as it formed the market went sideways it went downward as it formed the market went downward so these are the stocks you should be looking out for so what let me say you you have to allow that whole candlestick to form for you to be able to take action on it or price action because you cannot just look at it okay i guess as we speak now this chart this tree is about to do the same thing let's go towards the market price uh, you should for example now this candlestick now you see the way it's forming so for you to know if this is going to be a short now a short it's for you to allow this particular candle. Wait, let me remove the cushion on it. So, for you to know if this is going to be a short, 
for you to allow this particular candlestick form now if it forms as a doji candlestick and another one start coming out this way you just shut the market immediately you will definitely be in profit definitely be in profit so you have to wait for it to form finish once the next candle start coming out and it forms a doji candle it means short so you shut the market immediately definitely be in profit guys so the next one on the list is this video is becoming too long i guess i have to after i explain this dragon fly doji pattern i would end this particular section and start another one so you guys would take your time and go through it so for you to get a bearish sorry so for you to get a bullish candlestick to know when to long so it has to be the doji fly has to be a bullish candlestick it has to be a bullish candlestick you see both the closing price and the opening price would be at the same point with a long tail it means up it means what an upward trend which is bearish it is an upward trend which is bearish remember guys let's go over it again let's go over it again to get a bullish candlestick on dragon fly dodgy the opening price and the closing price has to be in the same place with a very long tail it means an upward trend so you should be looking out for these things in the charts now let's go back to the chart and look for the closing price and opening price with a long tail closing price and opening price with a long tail let's shrink the market so we get to see very well let me shrink it it's not going to be too bulk let me look for a dragonfly doji dragonfly doji with a long tail does this one has long okay it doesn't long tail long tail with opening price and closing price at the same place guys this is a perfect example you can see it can see it guys long tail long tail with the opening price and closing price at the same point market went up if it goes up take your profit we just scalped and leave let's look for a bigger one that did better long tail with the opening price and closing price at the same place Look at it again, guys. Okay, no, it's not it. So oh, that one has both both the opening and close are not in the same place. So let's go further down. Let's go further down. See if we are going to see what you're looking for. So you should at some point allow these candlesticks form for you to before you get to dive into the market so you allow it to form for you to know what your price action is going to be so it's what the candlestick forms okay since four, four hours is not showing us what we want let's put it in 15 minutes so i just switched it to 15 minutes guys so i will I, I, so i will have a clearer view i think i've shrinked this thing so much that is now very tiny let me release it a little bit i shrink it so much guys so let me release them let me release them a little bit so remember we are look, still looking for the dodgy candlestick pattern so remember look at what we are looking for guys the dragonfly doji bullish candlestick closing price and opening price will be at the same place with a long tail 
You can see it here, and it became a, an upward trend. So, please look for the candlestick does not lie. It's going to be clearly for you to see. So let's take our time and go through it. So once I see it, I'm going to let you know. Okay, okay, look at it. Look at one. Look at one here, but it's not exactly what we are looking for. But you can see one. So if this candlestick forms like this, same with the dragon. Sorry, same with the, just the doji. You see, it formed like this. It's an upward trend. But let's look for the dragonfly. That one I showed you is the doji, which is this one. This one up here. The doji. This one, that was the one I just showed you. But we're looking for the dragonfly. Doji. Dragonfly doji. Let's look, let's look, let's look. So I'm going to be ending this particular section on this particular one. So it's not going to be too long, guys. Dragonfly, and this one is Kaya, okay, both of them are, okay, this one is the doji, not dragonfly, this one is the doji, dragonfly, let's keep going through the chart, I know we'll definitely see the pattern, I guess I've seen some couple of it because I'm looking for the exact one, so for you to have a clearer picture, that's why we are still scrolling back in time. But I've actually seen what was shooting for it that looks, but it didn't close at the same point. But it's because of, I want to use the exact, that's why it's taking time. Don't worry guys, I know you are going to definitely see one. You are going to definitely see one guys. Oh, let me switch it to the one hour time frame. This 15 minutes is too... Why is this dragonfly giving us a lot of headache to, to find for an example? Let me get to look at it again. Okay, this one does... Okay, you can see this one did not actually... It did not actually have both of them at this. It have a very tiny tail. Can see it has a very tiny. Tail. I've actually seen something that has a very tiny, but I'm looking for the one that is as exact as this one, so you get to understand. So even though we did not see this exact one, I said I get to see this tiny thing. I wish it and show you guys what I want to show you. And it has to be in bearish for you to get. It has to close in bearish for you to get. It. That means it has to close in red for you to get it, guys. So. This one is dodgy. This one is dodgy, not the dragonfly. We have seen so many dodges. So guys, you can actually be looking out for dodge. You can see that one inside there. You can actually be looking out for dodge. You see, it closed as dodgy. Then the price went all the way up. So I can see this dodgy works more than the dragonfly itself. You can see dodgy. It went all the way up. Let's look at dodgy again. Dodgy. You can see it. Dodge this one went down, it went all the way up. It happens the reverse way, so that if it's at the top, so if it forms at the top like this, then you know it's down. Then you just short the market. If it forms at the top, you short the market. But if it forms at the down, let me say it formed somewhere here, like this, and you have other candlesticks, candlesticks, candlesticks. it means just take it up like this. I believe you understand what I'm saying, which is what happened here. You can see it even occurred two places. It's occurred here, here, and here. So you guys can see how powerful this dodge is. It's occurred here, then here too. So it happened and the market went up. It happened again and the market went up. It gave us an upward trend. We are still looking for the dragonfly. This dragonfly is stubborn and difficult to find. I don't know why. Stubborn and difficult to find. I don't know why we can't find dragonfly. 
Okay, so we can't actually see the exact of dragonfly. Let me see if if this dragonfly has um a bullish. So the bullish one is very difficult to find. Let's see if it has a bearish. Okay, it's not even called the bearish one is not called the dragonfly. It is called <coughs> the gravestone dodge, which is the bullish. The the, the gravestone dodgy. The gravestone dodge, you can see what it looks like. A long tail, a closing price down and open. I guess I've seen this one so many times. I've seen this one a lot of times. A long tail, a closing price and open. Like it's just opposite of the dragonfly. So if you see it on top, it means short. Then if you see it down somewhere here, it means long. But I can't even get to see both the dragonfly and the dodge. Okay, yes, perfect. You have seen gravestone. You guys, you can see gravestone. It's okay. Guys, have you guys seen the gravestone? See gravestone. You can see gravestone dodge. You see what happened? A long tail. Let's go back to our chart and look at it. Since we can't find dragon, dragonfly dodge, let's go with gravestone. So you can see gravestone it says a long tail long tail open price and closing price it means market should go down it, this one is very very clear and let me say you saw this thing as it formed immediately and you entered ah you are in crazy prof profit so you can see the long tail a long tail a long tail I'm coming down a long tail then the open price and closing price you saw what happened the market flopped it went down so let's say you observed this and wait for the candle to form finish once it forms finish and you enter at this price it goes down immediately you are in crazy profits guys a whole lot of profit so you should be keeping your eyes on these trades if you decide all this trading pattern you just pick two or three and be using it for yourself and i assure you that you are going to be in crazy profits this video is already becoming down too long i don't want it to be too long for you guys to watch boss i don't want it to be too long for you guys to watch guys so i've already gotten gravestone so it's dragonfly that is being stubborn for us to see. So I would give an okay. I've just seen dragonfly. Guys, I've just seen dragonfly. So look at dragonfly. You saw what happened, but this one is just looking like just dodgy. Do not like form up here. The long thing is supposed to be here. This one is more of just the dodgy one. I look at another gravestone, guys. Like you see more of gravestone than than dragonfly, guys. The former gravestone we got was around where here. So guys, are you seeing it? Gravestone. 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 So what happened? Market fell. Market fell. Profit. So maybe if possible, you just keep your eye on these gravestones, guys. It's it's still going to make you money. Gravestone. Long tail gravestone you can see long tail long tail market flop immediately market flop immediately. and it has to be in green guys don't forget it has to be in green for you to short the gravestone has to form in green then you just short the market so guys you can see the crazy profit that you got from here you can see the crazy profits that you got from here so guys let me just end this particular section so i covered how many topics today i covered um covered a couple of topics covered a couple a couple of topics so tomorrow we are going to start with the morning star sorry not tomorrow the next section will be the morning star morning star so today we covered a couple of copies we covered gravestone why is this thing coming up? Recovered gravestone. Recovered gravestone.
gravestone dodgy recovered but i feel like guys already have an idea why but how dragon dragon dodgy is but it was difficult for us to find it and i don't want this video to be too long but you already know what it is it has to form on red which is beer it has to form on beer then you go up just the way the opposite the gravestone formed on beer just the way the gravestone formed on, let's say now this 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 one now was actually red it would have been up like let me say it formed on red it should have been an up watcher because it's formed on green which is gravestone is now down one thread so that is what it is guys so let me say hopefully along the line i get to see that dragon this thing let me say in our next class i'm definitely definitely going to teach you guys once i see it so back to our chat i covered gravestone i've covered dodge dragonfly pattern i've covered dodgy too i covered which other one bullish inclusion bar i covered a lot of them sorry i'm not getting the pronunciations well but just make these books your friend so watch out for the next video on candlestick mastering too so that is it on this guys